This film was produced as part of the AgriPol project funded by the EU's Erasmus Plus program. Within the project, educational materials about the EU were developed. Nutrition is not just a private matter. It depends on what is on offer and the price. And, no matter how we eat, our food is derived from raw materials. Both of these factors are strongly linked to EU agricultural policy. Its history began in 1957. The first two decades focused on structural measures and increasing productivity. State-guaranteed purchase prices were introduced for milk, grain and meat. The under-supply in the 1950s soon turned into overproduction. A first unintended consequence of the CAP were enormous surpluses, the so-called milk lakes and butter mountains, which reached their peak at the end of the 1970s. The maintenance of high producer prices, the storage of surpluses and the subsidization of exports cost a lot of money. Reforms of the CAP attempted to respond to and counteract these developments. In 1992, with the McSharry reform, environmental concerns were given greater consideration in agricultural policy for the first time. Part of the direct payments from the first pillar were reduced and transformed into the second pillar. The 2014 agrarian reform brought the remuneration of social services even further to the fore. Greening was introduced. 30% of direct payments were now mandatorily linked to concrete environmental services. Green Deal, Farm to Fork Strategy Green architecture are just a few of the issues currently being hotly debated. One thing is clear, in terms of sustainability, and at all levels, there is still a lot of work to be done.